I bought every popular Galaxy Star Projector on Amazon to figure out what is the best Galaxy Star Projector on the market today. Welcome to this installation of the best Laser Star Projector Showdown. So for anyone new to these viral laser projectors, they're actually a pretty awesome piece of tech. For a relatively low cost and even lower effort, you can bring some pretty epic mood and ambience, which is why I personally love these things and have been reviewing them every year. The market has been flooded by all different models, shapes and sizes. Today I'm comparing the Smart Star Projector, the Astronaut Projector, the Rosetta Projector, what I like to call the Bat Wheels Projector because it kind of looks a bit like a Batmobile. The classic UFO style projector as I like to call it. Lastly, we have the Bliss Lights Evolve. All right, so let's just jump right in here to the screen I'm gonna use here for the technical comparison and side-by-sides. So first things first, we're gonna quickly flash through every projector in its default full color mode to get a feel for each projector. The camera settings remained locked throughout to showcase the differences in lighting. So here's the side-by-side -side now of all the projectors in their sort of default full color mode. I put the UFO projector on red and blue since it can't display three colors at a time like all the rest of the projectors. You'll also notice the stars are static on the astronaut and UFO projector and they fade in and out on the Rosetta and Batwheels projector as sadly these are the only options available. I will go into each projector more in depth in just a moment where I showcase each projector in more of a practical scenario, but this first side-by-side -side comparison should start to give you a feel for the character of each of these projectors and how their patterns differ from style to coverage and brightness. While each of these projectors give you a red, green, blue, and or white LED to mix together and select your favorite color, I'll be sticking to using just the red and blue magenta LED setting from this point on in the review by setting the projector to this red and blue magenta color provides a consistent baseline for the comparison. But mainly also because I feel this is most definitely the most pleasing color combo aesthetically for every Galaxy projector I've tested. So looking at these side by sides now all in the same color, we can start to see the characteristics more clearly in how each projector functions. The Rosetta has this sort of wavy effect, whereas the Bat Wheels has this swirling nebula. The Bliss Lights having this somewhat cloudy light like smoky intricacy, perhaps the closest to an actual nebula formation. The UFO projector having the widest coverage and somewhat mimicking almost like a water, top of the water effect, whereas the astronaut has the smallest nebula in sort of this splatter formation. The smart star definitely has a bit of a yin yang thing going on. Anyhow, feel free to reference back to this chart at any time in the video, but let's move on to taking a closer look at each projector now in more detail, as well as their effect in a more practical environment pointing at the ceiling of my studio space. Okay, let's start off talking about the Smart Star Projector. It is a smart projector, unlike some of the others here, which means you can control it with an app to set custom colors, set the brightness of the lasers, turn them on, off, different effects, stuff like that. I have covered this projector in depth. I've done a dedicated video on it. This is kind of our top of the line star projector that we're used to and is a good place to start. With the little feet on the bottom, you can sort of, you know, go more upwards if you want to shoot it at your ceiling and just aim it like so. The Laser Stars do have three modes, rotate, static, or fading, as well as being able to sort of fine tune that brightness. The LED Nebula also rotates, or you can set it to static, having all red, green, and blue LEDs to sort of get to any color you want, or my favorite to just turn on the red and blue to kind of make a magenta color. Because it is a Smart Star Projector, you can also automate it into your smart home. In terms of power input, we have a five volt DC in, which it comes shipped with a cable to a USB-A. So if you did want to run it on battery, you could do so using an external battery bank. Moving forward into the beloved astronaut projector. This is quickly becoming a fan favorite and is a very popular unit. It features a sort of like astronaut body here, whereas a little power pack on the back has the power input as well as some buttons. So not only does the astronaut projector look pretty cool, it's actually designed pretty well. It's got this sort of magnetic head on the top, which all the projection comes from. The laser's coming out of this part and the nebula coming out of the middle part. And because of it, it's got this spherical head, 
project it, aim it anywhere you want. So in terms of the laser star output on this thing, it has a rather wide area of coverage. It, it is one of the widest that I've tested. So the stars go everywhere and they are more spaced apart. Some of the downside though, is that the stars are only static. They don't rotate, they can fade, but that's the only two options you get when it comes to the stars. I do like that wide coverage though. The RGB LED Nebula does rotate, however, although you'll see it does cover a smaller surface area. And I found I've had a couple of these units. Sometimes I find the Nebula rotation to have a bit of a jitter when it comes to sort of the end of the disc inside. I don't know what's happening. Some people don't report this problem at all. I have seen it. It's not a huge deal, but it does tend to jitter sometimes. In terms of any smart capabilities or automating it, there's nothing like that. It is pretty primitive. It does come with a remote and it has sort of the on off buttons on the back. But if you did want to use like a smart outlet or something, you can't do it because every time you turn it on, you have to click the button. Okay, moving on to our Rosetta projector here. It's an interesting looking projector, I might say. It's kind of hard to aim it. You don't get much flexibility with that. But the idea is they want you to project it sort of upwards only. It also does have a speaker in it. I'm not a huge fan of why they waste money on putting speakers in these things because they're never any good. And you probably don't want to pay extra money for a crappy speaker. So just leave the speaker out. So this projector has a really interesting projection pattern. It's sort of like a wavy pattern. I don't know if you can see that in the aperture. It's got this sort of wavy effect, but it is a rather unique effect that the nebula pattern is this sort of wavy effect that does cover a large surface area. In terms of the colors, it has a red, green, blue, and white LED, which makes for some interesting options. The one sort of catch I found is that you can only have three LEDs on at once. So you can choose the white, blue, and red, or you can have just two. It also can cycle through some different effects, which is cool. In terms of the laser stars, now, one of the downsides was it only was able to have a fade in and out. There was no full-time laser stars. So if laser stars are your priority, perhaps not this one because it's only gonna have that fading in and out option. They don't rotate or anything either. It does also come with a remote control to control it. However, there is no smart functionality or anything like that. And if you think you can pair it with a smart outlet, think again, because just like we saw with the astronaut projector, once it takes power or removes power, you have to physically press the on button to turn it on. Moving forward to the projector, I've nicknamed the Bat Wheels because it kind of resembles like a little Batmobile. This is a really interesting project. The design's super cool. This little base it has kind of where the head sits. Point it wherever you'd like it to be. Again, USB-C, kind of the standard five volt USB-C on all these projectors. Like the rest, you can power it with a USB battery bank on battery if you'd like. It does, again, have a little speaker in it. It's actually quite similar to the Rosetta projector um, in terms of its functionality. However, this one gives us like a swirly nebula effect. You can kind of see that in the uh, refraction glass lens on the top there. So yeah, really, really cool nebula effect if you're into the, the sort of swirling nebula. Again, just like the Rosetta, it has a red, green, blue, and white LED, but you can only choose three LEDs to use at once for that. In terms of the laser star output, we can see the little laser aperture at the top. Again, similarly to the Rosetta projector, it only can do this fading in and out mode. So I, I don't personally love that. I'd rather have the stars on full time. Rotating is a nice bonus. But yeah, only fades in and out. It does come with a remote, but it is not smart capable in any way. Very similar, both these two. Different sort of LED nebula projections, different kind of base. Okay, moving on to what I call the UFO projector for obvious reasons, kind of looks like a UFO in the classic sense. We have some buttons here on the side. This also has a built-in speaker and does a ton of different things. Hard switch on and off. So the UFO projector has a very wide coverage for its LED nebula. And again, another unique, interesting nebula effect. We've seen the sort of wavy effect. We've seen the swirly effect. This one kind of makes like a diamond shaped pattern. Uh, you can see from its sort of diffraction glass lens at the top here. And because it's this spherical lens that really is extruding, it does project all over your room. So if you're looking something quite wide, it does project all over the room. However, you're gonna wanna try to place it in the center of the room because again, it's, it's pretty hard to aim or angle in any way 
it just sort of sits flat. In terms of functionality on the Laser Stars, it can do a static mode or it can fade in and out, such as we see with the Rosetta Bat wheels. Would be nice to see some rotation in there. You can, of course, again, power it with a USB uh, battery bank if you want. Comes with a remote. So the Nebula colors, it also has a red, green, blue, and white. LED such as we see in these ones. However, this one can only do two of the LED colors at one time. So you can select any of the four, but you can only run two at once. So blue and red or blue and white, whatever combo, but just two of them. Unlike these ones where you can run up to three of the four LEDs at once. Okay, so this is the Bliss Lights Evolve projector. Bliss Lights has come out with a ton of different models and variations of the projector. This one in particular is called the Evolve. As you can see, the base, uh, again, we see that sort of spherical design, which really allows us to point and aim this anywhere we please. It is a smart projector, meaning it does have an app to use to control it. Like all the rest, it is a five volt input where we can use an external battery bank to power it if we want. The LED Nebula is quite cool. It features a red, cyan, blue, and white LED. So we can use a combination of these four LEDs to create a really unique color. The stars can both rotate. You can control the speed of the star rotation and the nebula rotation, as well as the stars are able to do sort of static or a fading effect. This is, I'd say, the most feature packed of the star projectors. Similarly to the smart star projector, this one's a bit of a, a newer take on it and really kind of follows the overall Bliss Lights feel if you've seen me review some of their other projectors. So because it is smart, it will allow you to sort of automate it and integrate it into your smart home or if you want to plug it into a smart outlet it will remember the last used setting which is in my mind a great feature to have there's no one projector that stands out as a clear winner per se it really just comes down to your personal preference and the logistics of your space the two most advanced projectors i'd say are the smart star and the bliss lights evolve with their app functionality and a bit of a higher end experience and feel the ufo projector is a great option with tons of colors functionality and does have the widest nebula coverage if you can find a spot for it in the middle of your room the rosetta and bat wheels have super unique looking nebulas however the fading stars may be a deal breaker depending on your preference the astronaut projector makes a cool collectible for your shelf in addition to its functionality having the absolute widest laser star coverage although ironically having the smallest of the nebulas might i even suggest pairing two of these projectors together like the astronaut astronaut for its amazing star coverage with the bat wheels or rosetta or one of the other projectors for their unique nebulas would definitely love to hear everyone else's thoughts and preferences based on these tests in the comments below i personally purchased all these projectors myself so there was absolutely no influence going on with the results all opinions are my own i've tried to remain as unbiased as possible giving you guys just the facts if you're interested in a star projector that focuses more on realism I've also done a comparison of the most popular home planetariums, which use a disc as opposed to LEDs to create a better sense of realism, projecting actual images of the night sky indoors. Maybe that's more your speed. The video should be popping up on screen right now if you wanna check that out. As always, deal links are in the description below if you wanna check the current prices on any one of these projectors. It also goes a long way to help support the channel and keep doing these sorts of reviews and comparisons. 